So who remembers the Traxxas TRX-4 lifted Bronco project? That was a blast to build. We took a TRX-4 kit, a bunch of option parts, and the factory Ford Bronco body, built it all up, and it was a blast to drive. I know that video series helped out a lot of people, and in that video series, I showed you guys a clear body set as well with all the parts, and I told you guys that we were gonna build it up. I was gonna show you how to paint and everything like that. Well. I kind of put that body in a box and it got pushed aside and admittedly, I forgot about it. Until a couple of weeks ago, RC Patina guy who's on Facebook and Instagram, he reached out to me and said, hey, if there's ever something we could work on together, let me know. And, and I instantly thought of that clear Bronco body. And so I dug it out, sent it out to him and said, just do your thing on it. And then I told him I kind of wanted to paint it a two-tone blue and he took that into account. And a couple weeks later, just a, a week later, actually, he jumped right on it. Uh, the body arrived back at my house and we're going to take a look at it. It came out awesome. It's over here on the workbench. Here it is, our lifted Bronco project. Now with this beautiful Ford Bronco body on there, done up by RC Patina guy. And this thing came out amazing. I mean, beyond what I thought uh, anyone was capable of doing, the detail work on this is incredible. He really has an eye for, uh, you know, patina and weathering and just the, the little details of a truck that has kind of just been beaten around. We were actually calling this a, a barn find, a resto mod barn find, since we've got a, a lift kit on here and everything. Uh, but I think he really nailed it. And every time I look at this truck, I find new little things that he did all over it. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for someone to do a, a patina paint job on, on one of your bodies, uh, he, he really has an eye for it. I, I really, you know, would suggest talking to him. But let's go over some of the details here and we'll start off in the front. So as you can see, he took the chrome bumpers here and, and gave them a really nice weathering job. I mean, chipped away at the chrome, that the paintwork on here is really awesome. Same in the grill area. He kept the headlights clean, which which I like because I'm gonna add some LEDs to that later, but uh, the, the work to the chrome is very cool. And then he carries it over here into the side trim. And uh, again, I mean, the, the look just carries throughout the entire rig. Now, as I mentioned before, we did a two-tone blue on this. So we've got the light blue in the center and then uh, the darker blue on top. And, and he really just nailed it as far as on how the paint fades and weathers over time. And then the speckling of the rust, like this thing was really sitting in a barn. Uh, you know, maybe stuff was sitting on the roof here in the barn and uh, just ate away at, at the roof of it. Just so cool. I, I love looking at just each little section of detail on it. Uh, I don't even know how much time he spent on it, but it had to have been a lot. Even here on the windshield, see how he took the windshield wiper or maybe he took his finger and swiped away at it. So it took out some of that dust that was on the windshield. Really love that detail. And then over here, even on the mirrors, they're all scuffed up, you know, just to show that they're warm. He cut into the window here to, to kind of show that the window's taken down, like in a barn, you know, like when you just leave a truck in there, you see a truck left in a barn, you know, they always roll down the window because the door may have to be open from the inside. That's that's really cool. I love that detail. And then over here in the fenders, throughout all the fenders, the the uh, the pitting of the fender where the rust is eating into it or, or eating away at the, the fender flare. I just love these details all over, even here in the back, down in the back lower panel and everything. And I'm just going to walk around this truck so you can look at all the details. Here in the back, this is my favorite, wash me. Everybody does that to a dirty car. It's fun to do. And uh, I really like that he went ahead here, did that to this. I think that's just cool. And then he threw some cool logos on here as well. He's got the RC Patino logo, the Traxxas logo, our friends over at Scale Builders Guild as well. We've got the RC Driver logo. Then check this out down here. I'm gonna crouch down a little bit. He even gave me an RC Driver license plate on this. That is so awesome. The tire cover has been addressed as well. He's got some scuffing on this and just kind of walking around. Just I'm finding details as I go along here. Just really cool, uh, the, the pitting on it. That just keeps stopping me. I have to see more every time I look at this thing. Look at that over here. You can see my finger. You can see daylight through there. Just like a real truck that's been sitting and rotting out. Just love the look of this overall. I think he did a great job. Now I want to show you, he also did the diff covers. I sent him out the chrome diff covers. He weathered those. And then over here on the wheels, he did a little weathering to those as well. Just, you know, again, it's the resto mod look where, you know, he took a modern wheel, add a little bit of patina to it, and it came out awesome. 
All right, guys, I think we really need to see this thing on the trail. So I'm gonna pack up, head out, and we'll get some drive time in on it. It's certainly a lot colder outside than I thought it was. It's like 20 degrees out, but uh, we're gonna give our Project Traxxas TRX for another run out here on the trails. Just some simple walking trails, and uh, I can't wait to see how this thing looks on video. So I'm back from a really cool walk out on the trails. Just did some simple off-roading with this rig, but uh, really enjoyed the look of it out there. You know, Traxxas makes some really cool body sets for their vehicles. Uh, some of them are clear, so you can go and paint them up however you want. But uh, if that's not your thing, if you're not able to do that, or you really like patina styling like this, uh, and you're not able to do it, you might want to check out a pro painter like RC Patina Guy. I mean, he did an amazing job here. And uh, I mean, I don't have time to do something like this. I always wanted something like this, so it all really worked out. I'm really stoked to have this in my collection and uh, just enjoy it on the shelf and out there on the trails. I'll put a link in the description below uh, so you can reach out to him if you're looking for something like this. Uh, but I, I can't wait to go and drive this thing again. And if you're on our Facebook and Instagram, you'll probably see more pictures of this rig in the future. You know, it's just something that I have to show off more. All right, guys, let me know what your favorite Traxxas body set is in the comment section below. And if you're a TRX4 fan, you might want to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell because we have another video coming up with the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Don't want you to miss that. Hit that like button and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.